Good food and good company here at the Dixon City Eagle Holes Company Fire Hall. The free Thanksgiving meal has been a community staple since 1997. When the original founder retired, Judy Senko Richards and her husband Brian took it over to make sure everyone had a place to come for the holiday. This is where I get teary eyed every year. I don't want people to be alone on this holiday. I, I, I have a lot to be grateful for in my family and this is just my way of showing it. Not long after opening the doors, people lined up to get their meal and filled the tables. Roger Coleman of Troop came out for the first time. I live alone. I'm crippled. I had a stroke in March. I usually go down. My son's down in Nanny Cook, but he's going to bring something up tomorrow. So I said, they have this over here today. I'll stop over. Among the crowd were some familiar faces from past years. Jack Fedorko is an Army veteran who served in Korea. Every year we do this, you know. The good deal, huh? The food. <laughs> Mashed potatoes and gravy. <laughs> Others say this meal gives them a reason to get out of the house and socialize. And we're here because we have children, but they're all out of state. And they'll be home for Christmas, but not for Thanksgiving. And I think it's nice just to be with people and friends. Oh, I've been here before, and it's very nice. You know, the people are nice. The little ones are nice. They help you out all the time. I like that. Judy says they've started a nonprofit called We Give Thanks to keep this meal going for years to come. She tells Newswatch 16 it's a community effort to bring everyone together. I've got a lot of volunteers cooking up the food. We have donors who make the food for us. We reheat it. I've got some local businesses who um, prepare the food. The We Give Thanks event served more than 300 meals today in Dixon City. Emily Kress, Newswatch 16, Lackawanna County.